everyone welcome back to l dubs investing if you're new to the channel welcome and if you're not guys thank you for dropping back in in this video we are talking cryptocurrency we are talking about what's happening with ada what's happening with cardano also what's happening with litecoin everything hitting an all-time high guys and so much more stay tuned Hey guys, welcome back to L Dubs Investing. If you like this content and you want to see more videos on cryptocurrency, stock market, and of course investing, please do not forget to like and subscribe, guys. It's absolutely free, guys. Jumping straight in. All right, let's have a look at the market today. Bitcoin under the $50,000 mark at 49305 Ethereum just over the $4,000 psychological figure. And obviously, as you can see, we've got DOT and ADA and of course, Litecoin all hitting all time high guys, all going crazy. What's the market doing? What are your circumstances with this guys? On to the next one. Alrighty, Litecoin price hits $400 all time high, but LTC rally at risk of overheating. Litecoin price achieved 400 on overall craft market boom. Litecoin has broken the $400 mark, reaching a new all-time high price at 414 on Bitstamp from Monday. The problem with buying Litecoin is that it's become too expensive in a little period. The world's 10th largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization is worth 215% more than it was at the beginning of this year, soaring from $124 to the $413.90. Eye popping returns in the Litecoin market comes at the heels of a broad upside move in the cryptocurrency market. The silver crypto's top alt rivals include Ether, XRP, and Cardano, and many others. Posted better profits with Dogecoin, a joke cryptocurrency, rise by more than 17,000% year to date. The chief officer highlighted brewing inverse correction between Litecoin and Dogecoin, noting that the Doge USD exchange rate dropped by 12% in the period that saw the LTD exchange rates popping higher than 12%. Are you guys a holder of Litecoin? I currently do not hold Litecoin, but hey, this is, you know, a very broad. Is it the silver to the gold? You know, let me know in the comments, guys. Is it something that you're looking at buying? Are you selling? What are your thoughts on Litecoin? On to the next one. Right, crypto industry brass explains harnessing renewable energy could help BTC miners. Bitcoin mining via renewable energy is an already prominent field. The energy consumed by mining, the process that keeps Bitcoin blockchain running, has been an increasing popular topic of discussion in the recent weeks. On Friday, CNBC, during which he explained the Bitcoin mining scene as it relates to renewable energy, the interviewer noted claimed that 75% of Bitcoin miners come from the renewable energy space. We think that 75% is an actual figure. The miners are truly incentivized to use renewable energy, turning his thoughts on electric car maker, which recently announced it would no longer accept Bitcoin for purchasing due to the environmental concerns. I'm surprised that Elon didn't consider that before getting into the space, before accepting Bitcoin as payment mechanism for Tesla. Tesla opens its doors to payments via Bitcoin by United States Clinical Bank in March. The move went public forwarding the car company's purchase of $1.5 billion worth of BTC announced in February. Musk, however, recently stated disapproval of the fossil fuel energy Bitcoin mining called on via Twitter on Wednesday. He also discontinued payments to Tesla in BTC, inhibiting seamlessly temporary move until Bitcoin mining reaches statutory energy usage levels. Really, the data has been there forever. That 700% number we've been providing over and over and over that a real case for miners in the Bitcoin network. What do you guys think of this? I think this is fantastic. I think if more businesses, more corporations got involved with the green you know, we can get renewable energies and obviously keep the blockchain in its safe as possible. On to the next one. Right, chance of a prize crash increase as Cardano futures near 1 billion. ADA price crashed the last time its futures opened and just reached 1 billion, leading traders to question whether or not it's about to happen again. The impressive 816% gain of ADA coin in 2021 capitalized the smart contract platform's market capitalization to 61 billion. To fully grasp how far this third generation protocol has gone, the obscure leader Ether held the same valuation just six months ago. As ADA price evolves, so does the derivatives market, and the nearly 1 billion in futures open interest poses both an opportunity and threat to the price. 
Cautious investors will now open the question that $200 billion in potential liquidations are around the corner, drawing similarities to the 23% crash that occurred in April. There is no doubt that decentralized finance has been fueled the rally in smart contract focused cryptocurrencies and Ether network median fees surging past $35 led investors to seek alternatives. Cardano uses a proof of stake mechanism, although still pending its update, which will add support for the smart contracts and native token insurance. While ADA is inflationary, the supply currently 32 billion will be capped at 45 billion. ADA at a dollar and 97 all time high. We've broken that today. I may have been caused the open interest on futures contracts to reach 940 billion. Considering that ADA future volume sell on past 4 billion, this open interest figure is pretty impressive. The 195 million long contract liquidations on April 17th was particularly responsible for the 23% crash that occurred over four hours. However, a significant size open interest cannot be pinpointed as the primary catalyst for cascading liquidations. What are your thoughts on ADA, guys? I'm a big ADA fan. I've got a big position, and this is forever growing, guys. I think that we're going to see $5, $10, if not $50 in Cardano this year, guys. I really, truly believe in this, especially if we keep upgrading uh, on the next generation of the path of this token. On to the next one. Square not revisiting its Bitcoin allocations, but still interested in the asset. Over the course of 2020, 2021, Square bought over $200 million worth of Bitcoin. The payments company does not anticipate picking up any more of the asset. Polygraph reached out to Square for additional comments, but did not receive a response in the publication. In October 20th, in October 2020, Square announced buying $50 million worth of Bitcoin, which equated to $4,700, given the asset price back then. In February, the company announced picking up a further 170 million of additional Bitcoin we paid roughly 3,318 coins. May have hosted sideways and downwards price action from Bitcoin, although Square has still seen some significant profit from its Bitcoin holding. In Square's most recent quarterly earnings published on May 6th, the company said it had lost 20 million on its Bitcoin investment despite its fair value rise to 472 million based on the market price financial advice said. What are your thoughts on this, guys? I think this is just a bit of a spook in the market. I think everyone will get involved. Come the next wave, guys. On to the next one. Capture the industry. Token IPOs aim for 200 trillion global capital markets. Security token issuers say the STO market needs greater liquidity to make a significant dent in the $200 trillion global capital market. Earlier in May, Ionix Limited, uh, a Gibraltar based blockchain trading platform, announced the completion of its Ionix token sales event, which took place via an initial public offering. The event marked the first time the United States Security and Exchange Commission approved a crypto asset IPO. The SEC has been consistent in the characterization of more crypto assets as securities. Indeed, this stance has been the forefront of the commissioner com campaign against startups that issued digital assets during the initial coin offering in 2017 to 2018. Regulated security tokens offerings or SCOs have since been halted as the big thing for token-based fundraising, with ICOs regulating as anathema, but more financial regulators around the world. Indeed, authorities in several countries have been creating legal framework for regulatory crypto-related activity and assets. What are your thoughts on this, guys? This is absolutely huge. You know, as we saw, you know, the overall crypto market is obviously hovering around that one to two trillion. You know, the IPO market at the present moment, $200 trillion. You know, it's a big market to get into. The global capital market estimated to be worth $200 trillion is often seen as being ripe for crypto and blockchain distribution from decentralized finance, also known as DeFi. Primitives working towards on-ramps to interface with real-world assets to legacy financial institutions, pivoting to adopting the novel teach to their existing protocols, the digitalization of the equity market appears to be on the agenda for many stakeholders. Global capital markets are currently stuck in a time warp. Take US equities as an example. There are, there are open five days a week from 9.30 to 4. Meanwhile, digital securities trade 24-7, 365. US equities require a transfer agent while digital securities settle on the blockchain 
with immutable ownership. U.S. equities can be used as a tool for money laundering. Digital assets can be built with the autonomous KYC, Know Your Customer, and AML anti-money laundering through whitelisting on the blockchain. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Huge adoption, you know. This is a real big eye-opener. The market is very small at the moment, only just under two trillion. And you have a look at the global capital market is over 200 trillion, guys. I feel that we are very early to the party. If you don't think you are, I think we are, guys. On to the next one. Bitcoin held up very well despite biggest exchange info since March of 2020. Bitcoin saw a real test of its market composition on Thursday amid a sea of liquidations of the event from last year. Bitcoin has performed very well as traders have been sending more coins to exchanges than at the time since March of 2020. Data from on-chain monitoring resources shows that BTC exchanges infos hit a one-year high on Thursday. Bitcoin saw intense pressure from sellers this week as multiple news triggers combined to turn May bearish. Tesla abandoned BTC payments following the rumor of investigation of major exchange Binance by the United States regulator was enough to send BTC to lows of 46,000. As CoinDollarGraph reported, the dip could have been considerably worse with longer term price features providing support as critical levels. Nonetheless, 50,000 remains out of reach of the time of writing as holders lick their words and assess Bitcoin's likely next move. What are your thoughts on this, guys? You know, I think this is, you know, it, it was bound to happen. You know, Elon just gets on the Twitter and obviously can really affect the overall market. You know, I think that we got good support around that $45,000, $46,000 level. We're almost hitting that over the $50,000 level, guys. I think that, you know, this is just a stumble on the way to all-time highs, guys. On to the next one. Hey, everyone. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you like this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's absolutely free, guys. Speaking of free, if you want a free stock, check the pinned comment to stake, and we'll spin the roulette wheel, guys. Also, if you want some free Bitcoin to Coinbase or CoinSpot, check out the pinned comment as well. See you next time.